but we thank you, Jesus, that you made a way that we can run to you as our daddy. Father, as parents, we run to you right now. We throw ourselves down before you. Say, Father, forgive us. Lord, we don't even know what we've done sometimes. Father, the words that have been harsh, the words that have been misdirected, the words that have discouraged instead of lifted up, the words that have cut, the actions that have not been your actions, but they were our own emotions talking. God, we ask you to forgive us right now. Lord, we're asking you to touch into our children's lives that, Father, they would find the grace to give us another chance. Lord, we need wisdom from you like never before. We live among a hostile generation that doesn't want the ways of God. And Lord, we desperately want our children to know you and, and to feel our love. Will you knit our hearts back together, God, as parents, that we can be who our kids need us to be. Now, Father, I come to you on behalf of the young people here in this room. Lord, I don't know their story. Some of them aren't living with their parents right now because their parents have messed up so badly that they can't even be there. Father, some of them are angry and hurt and confused. God, some of these precious young lives in here are holding secrets that they think that no one could understand. And Father, they feel like damaged goods. Now, Lord, I'm just asking that you would touch them deep on the inside. In that secret place that no one can go. Lord, if, if, they, if they need help, let them know that the truth will set them free right now. And Father, bring them to the one that they can share with to receive what they need help from. Lord, if they need hope, God, I'm just praying that hope would be restored right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who need to forgive. God, I know the pain is very real. I know the anger is very real, but Lord, your word is, is clear. A bitter root grows up to defile many. And so, Father, right now, I pray for a grace to be poured out that they may forgive not as an act of their feelings, but, Lord, as an act of their spirit man. You said on the cross, Jesus, and you said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they did while people were killing you. God, I figure if you can do that, then you must be able to show us. So, Lord, by your grace right now, if that's you right now, you need to forgive your parent, your grandparent, your aunt, your siblings, anyone in your family relationships particularly, if you need to forgive yourself for what you've done, then here's what you do. You just, you just whisper to him, Lord, I'm deciding right now. This is your moment. This is your moment. You whisper to him, Father, I'm deciding by faith. I forgive. I let him go. Now, Lord, will you move in their heart? Will you move in my heart? And Lord, take us forward from this pain. Now, Father, we thank you for what you're doing right here in this room right now. Lord, I pray there would be courage from parent to child, those that are sitting here in this room. I pray that somehow by the end of this day, they're going to look at each other just even for a brief moment, and they're going to say, I love you, and I want it to be better. And, and I thank you, Father. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. New season, new life, recovery, and hope. In Jesus' name, amen.